They called themselves the Rolling Quads and began inventing a new world for themselves. We uh, realized that we could change some things. At the university, the Rolling Quads literally opened the door for other students like them. They remade the Berkeley campus into one of the most physically accessible in the country with a program designed to aid students with disabilities. Almost 50 years after the Rolling Quads, led by Ed Roberts and John Hessler, fought for accessibility at UC Berkeley, disability rights advocates on campus fear that the university is failing to meet the needs of disabled students. In December 2015, the Faculty Coalition for Disability Rights, the Disabled Students Union, and the Student Advocates Office voiced their concerns in a joint letter to Chancellor Dirks. Some of their concerns include dwindling support for incoming students, delays in gaining accessible course materials, and poor building infrastructure. Students come um, with a whole range of disabilities, uh, uh, different learning disabilities and so forth that need different kind of accommodations or if someone's hearing impaired or visually impaired and there's a range of specialists at DSP who engage in an interactive process of determining what those accommodations are. And there's just been a lot of turnover in staff of those specialists where people aren't necessarily getting access to the specialists they need and they aren't getting access in a timely way and yet it's the law so it's really a non-negotiable. Paul Hippolytus, the director of the Disabled Students Program, says that increasing numbers of students seeking disability services, not budget cuts, have amplified these problems. Each year for the last four years, the number of students coming in to the Disabled Students Program has increased by 24%. It's created an enormous crush uh, in our ability to respond to those students' need, and that's been a challenge for us as an organization. Matt Gregoff, co-president of the Disabled Students Union, a student group on campus, sees these inadequacies as a result of a flawed system. The necessity for a new way of thinking about disability on, camp on the campus really comes from a lot of the systematic challenges. So for instance, um, the way you uh, access B course, which is your online course materials, um, and it, it's not accessible you know, in a lot of time. So a lot of professors will have chicken scratch, it's in maybe a weird odd PDF format, and it's not, you know, it, will, it can't be converted to Braille. Advocates agree that we need to find new ways to remove the burden of accessibility from those with disabilities. And disability studies has a different frame. It's the social model that says, actually, the problem for me is not that I have one leg. The problem is that buildings have been built in a way that doesn't imagine someone like me entering them. Zion, it's not just the community with a disability, but how disability permeates every community on campus. The university has decided to look beyond the disability model that Cal has been using since 1977 and work towards universal design. Universal design aims to create buildings and environments that benefit everyone, like having more elevators and having teachers create curriculum that takes into account the learning differences of all students. We're in the uh, process, my boss, the Vice Chancellor for Equity and Inclusion, Nayala Nasir, is about to commission a group to come together to study where we can build in universal strategies so we don't need to fix the student with DSP accessibility accommodations. And that's going to be the next phase in our response to this increase in numbers and increase in accommodation needs. Berkeley can lead the way. And if we can all get together on this issue and work together, I have no doubt that will be a new model of inclusion that can be replicated around the world.